Today is the kickoff of the weekend-long Italian festival in Watkins Glen. WENY's Isabel Garcia took a trip to Clute Park today and has details about what to expect. It's the 36th annual Italian festival in Watkins Glen. The event draws in a number of people to the area, and for some, it's a memory to share with future generations. I mean, I, I grew up in the area, and I'm just back visiting family. I've been away for a few years, and when I heard the festival was on, I was like, well, definitely got to go down and see that and take the kids. You know, it's always a good time. There's so many things to do and uh, we're going to get these guys on some of the fun rides and stuff. So There are traditional events like the spaghetti eating contest, games, live music and fireworks. But for those who have gone to the festival in the past, organizers say there are new things to look forward to. We really wanted to try to think of some new things to bring people back to the festival and one of the new ideas this year was to incorporate the community center which has never been used in the past so it's being transfer transformed into La Storia which is a an Italian marketplace uh, bistro somewhere where you can socialize, eat, drink. Now aside from all the community events, fun and games, you can't have an Italian festival without some Italian food. There are staple Italian eats such as hot and sweet sausages, cannolis and meatballs, just to name a few. Well my favorite part about the festival is the food. I mean, you know, like I said earlier, if you're on a diet, um, you have to put that aside for the weekend and you have to come because the food from all the vendors is phenomenal. The festival will be up and running all weekend long. For more specific details about what to expect, log on to our website at WENY.com and click on this story. Reporting in Watkins Glen, I'm Isabel Garcia, WENY News.